Hello everybody, welcome to our e-commerce brief. This is Nabil Malauli and if you want to receive these videos every week, please subscribe on the YouTube channel. We had another week full of news in the e-commerce world. So let's go and let's have a look. The big news of this week is Facebook. Facebook is jumping into the e-commerce space, but this time it's for real. Facebook just launched Shop by Facebook, which seemed to be this time a clear intent to play in the social commerce space. I always wondered why Facebook was not making a major move in e-commerce to leverage the 3 billion users that they have between the Facebook platform, Instagram and WhatsApp. Our second news is around Shopify. Shopify is going into financial services. It is not the first time that we see an e-commerce giant going into financial services. But this time, they are launching a bank. Yeah, a bank. Shopify is launching its own business bank account where merchants will be able to make deposits, withdraw funds, pay bills and transactions, and all this at basically zero cost. Yes, zero. Your banker is probably gonna go crazy when you hear this news. If you have money in the stock market and you're wondering which stock you should invest money into, you might want to consider Shopify. I often get asked which company is doing the best job in omnichannel transformation. I think Target is probably one of the best case. Target just reported their digital sales number and they are growing at 141% in Q1. They are seeing a huge momentum around online sales. And another amazing stat was that the average volume order in April on any regular day was more volume than what they had last year in Cyber Monday. Walmart is closing Jet.com. Would you close a business that you bought three billion four years after? Well, that's probably not the type of question you ask yourself every weekend. But that's the kind of question that the Walmart board has to answer. I think they are doing the right thing. While Walmart.com sales grew by 71% in Q1, Jet.com grew by 10%. And last year alone, that division of the business lost $2 billion. Amazon is launching delivery food service in India. When the competitors in the market like Swiggy and Zomato are reducing their workforce due to the coronavirus, Amazon is doubling down on growth and investing in that strategic market. The company has invested more than 6.5 billion in India, so we can expect more of this type of announcement in that market. Our startup of the week is coming from France. Content Square just landed $190 million in their Series D. We hear every day that data is the new oil. In the world of e-commerce, one of the key aspects of data is measured by the analytics and insights that brands can get on their customers' behavior when they browse and search in their website. Well, this is exactly what Content Square does. Their technology analyzes customer behavior via web, mobile, or app interaction, and then provides recommendations for you to increase your revenue, engagement, and growth. Well, this is it for this week. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe on the channel, and see you next week. Happy Sunday.